What is going on, people? It's your homeboy, Glenn, here. I'm chilling out, maxing out, as you can see. Still playing GTA 5. But let's get into the topic of this video. We ain't come here to talk about GTA 5. We came here to talk about One Piece episode 613. Yes, episode 613. Now, this episode, I have to say, was amazing. Now, we actually got a little bit more in-depth detail on why Zoro actually didn't attack Mamet. He... Well, they had it figured that Zoro felt that women were inferior, so he would never cut them. Um, it was a flashback when Tashiki and Zoro, um, if you watched One Piece prior, was at, I forgot which town it was, but he wouldn't kill her. He beat her real easily, but he would never kill her. He just walked off and she said that, oh, you you know, I wish I was born a boy, then that reminded Zoro of his um, lost friend that died, and she kind of looks like his lost friend. Now, of course you know, um, Chopper and the other chasing out their children, um, Robin actually managed to, um, entangle some of the children with her Bente Blur. Now, um, Chopper was able to stick them with the heroin, you know, I'm just joking, with the, um, serum to cure them. And now, the people that were chasing Momo Met has been cut down to half. Luffy also saved, um, uh, Momoski, the purple, the purple, the pink dragon. Now, he grabbed onto the wall. I'm thinking like, wait a minute. Could you have done that when you fell down in the first place? Couldn't you just grab onto the wall? You were falling the same amount of distance. Then you had more weight on you. And you managed to grab it. Really? Really? Now, you would think that Tashiki would be a match for Moment. Tashiki was getting the ass kicked. Let's be real. Tashiki didn't stand a chance against Moment. She was getting her ass whooped. To be honest with you, the only good shot Tashiki got of her was when she snuck up on her and cut her wing. Now, Mama actually crunched on Tashiki's shoulder, and then the episode had about a 20 second relay of like a tense moment. You're like, oh my gosh, she's about to cut her, like break off her shoulder. Because Tashiki actually grabbed her like this so she couldn't, you know, chomp off her shoulder. If she just chomped off her shoulder, you know, she'd have been basically gone. But anyway. At that exact moment, Zoro cuts Mama Met. She jumps back in fear, and then everybody's, you know, with that tense look, Zoro said that you underestimated me again. He said that when have you ever seen a wild animal that doesn't bite? So then, Zoro's most powerful sword style. It was, um, basically hard to describe. Okay, no, actually it's not. He basically stopped time. Can you believe that? He basically actually stopped time. And everybody was just looking like, holy shit, w what's happening? What's going on here? And then Zoro came with his ultimate attack. Um, Nitoru, Great Dragon Slash? Yes, that's what it was called. I was actually trying to think of the name. But... Anyway, because of his slash, Mama Meg couldn't actually regenerate herself. Oh, I'm sorry. Great Dragon Shock. Um, Mama Meg could not regenerate herself. She was directly split in half, and the two sides were sent directly into the wall. It was fucking brilliant. And that's off one slice. This just shows the true power of Zoro. That bitch couldn't stand a chance against Zoro. Come on now. This is the most. This was guy was trained by Melhawk, the greatest swordsman on the planet. Now, you really think that some snow bitch can take him down? No way. <coughs> but she managed to get herself up enough to try to attack Zoro one last time. That's when Tashiki came up and finally cut her and killed her. Yes, yeah, Mama Met is dead. That bitch is out of there. Alright, you guys. This episode was amazing. Thanks for watching my review. Make sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to the YouTube page. Keep updated on news, One Piece news. Alright, peace out, you guys. Bye.